Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how I made a quick release trolling motor mount for my Ascend 12T kayak. Now I will include how to make the quick release in the narrative section of the video. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. These are the main parts I'm going to be using in this project. Two heavy duty stainless steel 6x4 inch shelving brackets a modified Minn Kota transom mount, some one quarter by 20 toggler snap toggles, and then some poly cutting board. This is the area on the rear of the kayak where I'm going to mount the brackets. And first, of course, I've already disconnected the handle. Take that out. And I'm not going to use these welded in nuts because they're at an angle and it would be too hard to do. So what I'm going to do is take each one of these brackets and position them where I think it's going to be the best way to attach so I have plenty of bite for the brackets using the toggle bolts. And then also I have to make sure I have enough clearance down here for the contoured end of the kayak. So once I decide where I want them, I'll go ahead and mark them, and then I'm going to drill these out because they're not big enough. So I'm going to drill them out for quarter-inch 20 toggle bolts, and I'm going to use, once I decide to mark them, the first hole and the third hole. Okay, as you can see, I have my four snap toggles in there. So what I'm going to do now is take a sheet of paper and make a template that I can transfer onto the poly cutting board. Okay, I opened up the holes I wanted to use on these brackets to one quarter inch so I can use these bolts. And I just have it in there lightly now after I made my template for the cutting board. Now what I can do is measure my distances here that I'm going to need to make the final cut on the board. There's another little part of this design that I wanted to show you. Um, you're probably wondering why I mounted the brackets on the underside because it's a lot harder to do all this. It's because these are about an eighth of an inch thick. So what it'll allow me to do is use a bolt like this and the head will slide under there so there'll be space for when I attach the Minn Kota mount. All right, I finished measuring everything and doing a dry fit on the L brackets. I wish I could tell you some scientific way to do it other than just by measuring, cutting, measuring, cutting, because that's what I ended up doing. And this is how it comes out like this. So the next thing I'm going to do is take my Minn Kota mount and put some holes in it so I can go ahead and attach it to this mount. Okay, so I lined everything up and I have my holes here for my Minn Kota mount. And all I need to do now is bolt everything together. This is a view of the installed mount. And as you can see between the mount and the hull that all the bolts have clearance so there shouldn't be any interference issues. Okay, so I have my trolling motor attached to the mount, and I'm going to demonstrate the quick release for it. First thing you do is you remove this cotter pin on the other side of this pin, pull this out, lift up, mount, and it comes out real easy. Reverse, put it back in. Line up the holes, 
Put it back in, put the cotter pin, and it's done. Since the trolling motor mount covered up the back handle, what I did was, by leaving the pin in and using a handle with a cord, just wrapping it around the pin, and I can use that as a lift handle. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.